I like this cinematic. And I remember when this game was announced. It was a long time ago though. I wonder what their next single player Fallout game is gonna be. I feel like it might get announced soon. It would be kind of weird if they don't use this hype. So should we do a character creation? Or should we just go with a default face? I never like taking too much time customizing my character because realistically you don't really take too long you don't look too much at it i kind of like this face though he's got like a rugged look let's go with it i need to change my mouse sensitivity should we go with very hard or hard let's just go with hard because the scaling is not too good the scaling is not too good in this game all right and we can do something oh actually i can't or it's gonna stop our recording all right so character creation done this is what we look like whoa wait he's a lot more buff than i remember he didn't look this buff before but he looks jacked all right so this is our little intro before the nukes drop this is our weird little baby he looks weird this little sean this is little sean he's got a cute little atomic room he's got little spaceships on his his wall it's nice everything is bomb related for some reason blast radius i i really like the intro of fallout 3 i like it way more than this intro have you guys played fallout 3 before i love these comics i love these comics i love finding them i love looking at them sorry i'm just codsworth oh wait let me turn on subtitles let me turn on subtitles so you guys can see okay there we go so what do we do sit down to watch tv is that what we're supposed to do would you guys ever let a giant nuclear robot take care of your child sugar bombs nuka cola i kind of like the aesthetics they got going on in their kitchen Got a weird fireplace. Oh, here comes the vault tech guy. I guess you're just supposed to wait for him to show up, huh? Good morning. So I have the high res textures downloaded and honestly, I can't really tell the difference. Glad you're here. He's got urgent matters to discuss with us. Okay, let's, yes, let's do it. Splendid, splendid, but why is this guy acting so nervous? Alright, so we're gonna go with panel name, and I usually like to go with... Is this too long? No, we're good. Okay, I just have to press enter. And I usually go with... I feel like we should do like half health. Half of these points on health. Intelligence. Isn't the max you can get 10? The max you can get is 10, right? Let's see. Recharge rate of critical hits, your ability to sneak, mental acuity, and affects the number of experience points earned. It always feels like stealth is broken in these games. Mm. I don't really like using VATS too often. It kind of feels like cheating to me. Why don't we just go with Charisma 5, Endurance 5, Strength 5. We want to be a little bit lucky, don't we? Four. Four. Four? I don't know. Should we sneak? Should we sneak around? Do we want to be sneaky? I think if you... Why don't we go with charisma? And... Maybe a little bit more luck. Five luck. Is that too much charisma? What's up, Victoria? Playing some Overwatch. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ah, uh, this is hard. These are hard choices. Strength is, is very important. I mean, yeah, endurance is very important. Strength is also because, because you need to carry a lot of stuff. Charisma and strength, I feel like, should be critical hits. I kind of like that. Maybe a little bit more intelligence. Sure. Let's go with these. I'm sure they're bad, but 
I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna roll with it, you know. And now we're set up for vault for my boy Sean. We look kind of badass with this. Hold on, the sensitivity is still a little high. Hello, baby Sean. Wait, they spell it S H A U N, not S E A N. Sean. Isn't that a little weird? I always thought it was S E A N. Sean. Sounds fun. I think one of the selling points, or like one of the things that, that people were hyping about this game when it first came out, is that people would call you by your name, depending on what name you chose. Like they, they recorded the robot saying like the most popular names and if your name matched one of those names he would say it so like the first time that i played this game i just wrote alex and he's like mr alex and i was like whoa what what oh the bombs are falling where do we go wow she's running look at that form but it's such a beautiful day out Bro, this guy's really willing to die for his luggage. Wow, poor guy. Not even because he worked for them. Nice landing. This looks like they just finished building it. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight people going into the vault. Whoa, that's scary. That is scary. Mr. Russell made it. Mrs. Whitfield, and Mr. Whitfield, and Mrs. Abel, and Mr. Abel. I still haven't seen the show, but I hear that it's really good, so. I might make an effort to watch it soon. Hello, Doc. Nice pit boy you got there. I wonder if the pit boy gets hot. It looks like it would get really hot. I mean, it's pretty chunky. Oh, shoot. Maybe that's why it was so easy to get into this. They just needed to test the subjects. Now it makes sense. I never really thought about it too much. Decontamination pod. Yeah, okay. I never thought about it. Are they really gonna freeze a baby? That's crazy. Poor kid just got born. They didn't even give the baby a suit. They just threw the baby in there. It's kind of messed up. So I never actually beat the main story for this game. Like... I think the furthest I got was the Institute, and I did a few story quests for the Institute, but I never finished the story all the way. Actually, I've never beaten any Fallout game. I just get sidetracked doing all the side quests. Wow. Wait, he kinda looks like me. He kinda looks like my character. My evil twin. Kills my wife. Steals my son. Steals my look. Who does this guy think he is? R.I.P. wife. Yeah, at least I still have my other wife. You always want to have backup wives in case, in case one gets killed. Come on. Wow. Come on, close it so she doesn't melt. Is there other inhabitants? Can we, can we free them? We can't. Let's try some of these. Not working. So none of them can be opened. Maybe we can hack them? Let's see. Bot occupant status. Mrs. Callahan, Mr. Callahan, Nora and Sean, Mr. Russell. Asphyxiation. Asphyxiation. I think a lot of them are gonna be dead. Yeah, they all died. Yep. So what, we're the only ones that didn't die? Wait, there's more over here, isn't there? Life support. Wait, did they die because the other two guys turned everything off? Premature termination. Okay. Let's get out of here. Oh, there's a lot of pods. We might need that. One thing you guys should know about me is... I'm a loot goblin. 
So I like carrying as much junk as I possibly can. Just in case it might come in handy. Cryogenic array. Everything is disabled. And everybody's dead. They're all icicles. Popsicles? Icicles? Popsicles? I don't know if I can tell the difference between the old textures and the new textures. Whoa, big bug. Huge bug. Maybe we can find our cigarettes. Valuable. Vault 111 security instructions. Confidential. Vault 111 is designed to test the long-term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Security staff are responsible for maintaining installation integrity and monitoring science staff activity. Insubordination or interference with vault operations are capital offenses. Security staff are author authorized to use lethal force. Residents Resident admittance. Upon activation notice from Baltic, all personnel are required to report to the entry area and assist with admittance of Vault residents. Security personnel will maintain order and ensure that no personnel or residents attempt to evacuate the vault. Research staff will be responsible for resident intake and escort each to the designated cryogenic pod. Residents should Residents not accounted for in the manifest should be asked to step aside and detained forcefully by security if necessary. Once all residents have been sealed into their preservation chambers, dispose of any detainees. Vault entryway must remain sealed under any circumstances. Select like the staff duties. Members of the research team must daily monitor the vital signs of cryogenically preserved residents. Cardio, pulmonary, and cognitive activity in particular must be recorded hourly. Life-saving intervention is only permitted if greater than 80% of the resident population has perished while cryogenic suspension and must not interrupt suspension. Wow. Due to the nature of Vault 111, personnel will be expected to perform duties outside of their normal qualifications, such as janitorial duties and food preparation. The exact distribution of these roles is left to oversee your discretion. Mm -hmm. 2077, October 23rd. Okay, so this is from the bombs for first dropped. God, it finally happened. The world's over. Barely got all the residents inside. Not everyone made it. Now it's just us and the icebergs. I don't get it. Eggheads tried to explain to me that keeping them frozen is a big experiment. For a better future or something. I don't know. It just doesn't seem right that we were smiling at them all the time before putting them on ice. Shouldn't we have told them something? Christmas Underground got together with the rest of the security boys and support staff and had a little party. Best gift that got handed out was a fancy lad snack cake that wasn't too stale. None of the scientists came. Overseer wasn't there either. I just don't get them. They hiding something from us? Another company secret only for this. Just a few more months until the all clear is supposed to come through, then we can start rebuilding. Only a few weeks left in our mandatory shelter, period. Everyone's getting stir crazy. Some people are even saying that the all clear signal is never coming. We can't steer, stay here much longer, that's for It's not just the fact that we've that I've been staring at the same break room and bunk bed for under no circumstances are staff allowed to de deviate from assi assigned duties. The overseer keeps telling everyone to be patient, focus on work. He's definitely keeping us out of the loop. Something bad is going on, I just know it. The main door accessing the vault exit is malfunctioning. Now the only way out is through the overseer's evacuation tunnel. How convenient for him. He has one of the science team watching the door into his office at all times from a little makeshift check checkpoint. Got invited to a meeting tonight. Support staffers and security only. Sounds like, sounds like I'm not the only one with an axe to grind. No all clear from vault Tech is coming. We need to leave. We're all but out of food. I almost murdered Stanley for dropping a damn salt cracker on the floor. A handful of us confronted the overseer about opening up the vault. I never knew a man that small could shout that loud. Now he's locked himself in his office along with the rest of the science staff. We're supposed to hand over any food, weapons, and medicine we have by tonight. 
or there's going to be consequences. I've talked to everyone, it's time. One way or another, we're getting out of this vault. To the last entry too, this one. Following a nuclear event, vault tech will monitor hazards such as radiation levels, enemy invasions, subsequent attacks, and other factors. Once conditions are deemed safe, this terminal will receive an all-clear notice. Upon receiving the all-clear notice, vault tech personnel may be evacuated at overseer discretion. Disregard any notices from organizations or individuals not associated with vault tech including government and military residents are not to be disrupted or evacuated. vault will attend to their needs remotely once Vault 111 staff has been evacuated. Vault 111 is classified as a short-term assignment. Non-resident personnel are expected to carry out research duties and basic maintenance of the vault while awaiting the all-clear signal to evacuate. In the absence of an all-clear message from vault the Overseer may elect to evacuate staff after a mandatory shelter period of 180 days of containment. Under no circumstance may Vault 111 staff evacuate during this shelter period, unless receiving the all-clear message from vault I think that's it, right? Yeah, I think that's it. Do we have any other weapons lying around here somewhere? And bomb, baby. Da -da -da. Let's squash some bugs. Bang. Giant roaches. Recreation terminal. Overseer memo. Remember, use of the recreational terminal is a privilege. <clears throat> if work performance declines, this privilege may be revoked. Enjoy responsibly. Top 10. Rick, Tim, TGM, SAE, SQV, TNM, QQQ. Red Menace. How high can you get? Let's see. Oh, he's dropping bombs. Wow. That is messed up. We try again. How many shots does he have? What? Wow, we're bad at this. Well, not we. I'm bad at this. Let's see, is that a, is that a power up? What? What? You're joking. Let's try again, because I've never played this game. I always just automatically eject the tape and keep going. Let's see if we can jump. No, we can't. Okay. Oh, that was close. Huh. Okay. You're kidding me. How did I not jump over that? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah. I didn't grab onto the ladder. Wait, can you grab onto the ladder while jumping? Wait, Red Menace? Oh my god, that's a communist thing. Or China? Yeah, well, I never... Wow, well, I'm stupid. I don't know why I never got that. Oh, I'm getting the hang of it. No. <laughs> I forgot you can't grab onto the ladders. Okay, okay. Last, last attempt. Last attempt. We gotta destroy the Red Menace. Wait, the high score is only 500? That's crazy. That's so low. Okay, 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 I'm getting it. Yes. Oh my god. No. No. The ladder went away. No. What? You're kidding me. We got this. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. At least he's not throwing bombs at us. Uh, what? Okay, I guess you can't move forward. Because it... Speed run. Uh, what? That is BS, dude. That is BS. Alright. We'll take it. We're taking it with us for later. That was kind of fun though, not gonna lie. Okay, is there anything? I hope you guys are ready to watch me try and loot every single container in the room. Because I'm, I'm weird about that. I have to, even though 90% of it is junk. Sometimes there's, sometimes there's good stuff hidden away in little weird corners. Okay, where's the, where's the roaches at? Bring me the roaches. Oh, there it is. Mm, take that. Another one. Oh, the roaches were eating him. Disgusting. Comes another one. Press Alt. I don't think we want that meat. Oh, lots of health packs. Sweet gun. Stim packs restored 30% of your max HP. Heal damaged limbs and can be favorited. 
for quick use. Actually, it does actually look better. It does look better. Hopefully, it doesn't run terrible in Boston. Boston's always a problem area for me. All right, let's see what we have here. Vault 111 Overseer Instructions. I'm gonna take a quick sip of coffee. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. This coffee break is sponsored by Nuka Cola. We're about to hit 300, I mean 3,000 subs on YouTube. That's crazy. 3,000 subs. That is awesome. Hopefully we can get it before the end of, of this month. I hope. If you guys want to help me reach my goal, please uh, engage with the with the videos. You know, drop a share, leave some comments, some likes. Okay, coffee break over. Let's see. All this reading really gets really gets to me, huh? A lot of reading. Vault 111 is designed to test the long-term effects of suspended animation. Wait, we already read this. We didn't read the bottom half. Under no circumstance is suspension to be disrupted. This includes the administration of life-saving measures. Your staff is also considered expendable. Insubordination or attempts to evacuate prematurely are capital and uh, capital violence. Unused cryogenic pots are the preferred method for ca cadaver disposal. Cryo later. I've long dreamed of making cryogenic freezing available in a portable on-demand form. The cryolator is my latest attempt. Thankfully, we're in no short supply of the chemicals and components I need to tinker with the prototype. It's a nice way to occupy the time as we wait for the all-clear signal. Is this Mr. Freeze? The day appoint a Batman villain as an overseer? Let's see. This is the same as the other one. I'm just gonna skim them for duplicates just so I don't read the same thing over and over again yeah we already read this I'm pretty sure we already read this too yeah okay let's back out we haven't read the overseer's log let's see preparations the final staff orientation is complete all but a few of the residents down in sanctuary hills have been enrolled right so that's why it was so easy you know they're like oh you're already you're already accepted dude yeah, you were part of the army, you served your nation. Right. And several from Concord as well. Vault Tech supervisors came up this week to do a technical review with me. This vault is ready to open. I can only imagine what wonders our residents will get to witness. The notion of leaping forward in time. I almost wish I could join them and see the promise of our future realized. Crazy stuff. October 23rd. It's happening. Oh, hey, what's going on? Relaxing whispers. Sorry, I keep forgetting I don't have my chat open. It keeps closing for some reason. Oh, you watched the Salad Fingers videos. Right, it's it's weirdly relaxing, even though the content is so weird. The actual videos themselves are weirdly relaxing. Did you watch the compilation video that he uploaded? Especially, like, the first few videos, they're, like, weirdly relaxing and I've when I first watched them I I like got sleepy watching them I think it has to do with the fact that there's not a lot of noise most of the sound comes from like him walking around or like sort of ASMR sounds that he makes like the first video when he's scratching the spoons that's pretty much what ASMR is. And then he's like, he's just like walking and he talks in a weird voice. And right, his voice is like pretty gentle. And um, also I think the, the background music, the way it loops, it's like a simple tune. I love scary ASMR, spooky and relaxing is the best combo. Well, if you guys know any like creepy games that are not jump scary just like weird vibe games let me know we might i might do some some like 
creepy. Maybe I should do creepy pasta readings. Huh. Never thought about that. Hmm. That might be on the list. That might be on the list. I actually. I don't know if it was this channel or my other channel, but um, some of my first videos were. I was playing this game called. It was like horror stories. Horror stories or something. I gotta look it up. Horror easy. What was that game called, dude? Oh my god, I can't remember the name. It's based on this, like, Japanese artist that makes creepy books. What is his name? You guys prob probably know who I'm talking about. Um, horror anime books. Oh, Junji. Junji Ito. Junji Ito. So there's a game based on his stuff. Oh, it's called World of Horror. Okay, so the game is called World of Horror, and it's basically a visual novel. And, uh, yeah, I used to make videos for that game. But I don't know if it was this channel or my other channel. I don't think it was this channel, to be honest. But yeah, if you guys are into that, I might, I might do some more Let's Plays of that. Okay, let's go back to the game. It's happened. We were lucky that most of the staff was nearby when the early warning came through. We had less noticed than expected. And only Nord, Nord Hagen, Nord Hagen was missing when we sealed the entrance. Resident admittance went smoothly. Everyone made it. Even the family that waited until the last minute. That's gotta be us. I was worried there would be more suspicion, but things happened so fast for these people. They must have been too overwhelmed to question the cryogenic pods. Strange issue today with our pod C3. Subject appeared to be having heart palpitation. Nothing life-threatening, but unusual. We realized almost too late that the pod was malfunctioning. The cryogenic array almost started thawing her out. We're not sure, but I suspect a hiccup in Voltex remote override systems may have sent an errant signal. We'll have to keep an eye out. I only hope their systems are reliable once we evacuate. Supply is running low. There's been no clear signal yet. Even though we're nearing the end of the 180 day mandatory shelter period. Supplies were never intended to last mar much more than that. And despite my best efforts, people are beginning to question what we're doing down here. If people think we can just leave when the 180 days are up, they're insane. The radi radioactive exposure would still be potent enough to fry everyone if the vault seals are breached that early. The whole point of the all-clear was to receive additional instructions from the main office. I don't know what to do, I can't open the vault. I can't expect our supplies to last forever. I just have to keep everything under control until the all-clear. Mutiny. Affectionate but the security personnel have turned on me, demanding they be allowed to leave the vault. Idiots. I would not open the door to be irradiated to death out there. I'm consolidating the remaining supplies, putting the staff on lockdown. We're going to have to start prioritizing who deserves the little food we have left. I've been too damn generous with the rations. If people don't like it, well that's fewer mouths to feed. Okay, let's open the tunnel. The personal evacuation tunnel is now open. Remind all staff to be orderly and follow shutdown protocols before exiting and resealing Vault 111. Please maintain all staff records and research. Report to your local vault tech superiors for debriefing and further instruction. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's just make sure we're not leaving anything valuable behind. Oh, what's this? More guns. Bobby pin, I'll need that. I don't know if cigarettes are considered valuables, but we're gonna take some. Master. Shoot. We're not good enough at lockpicking yet. Actually, I don't think I took any points into lockpicking, I don't think. Anyways, looks like that's everything. We got some roaches hanging out. Okay, bang bang. Jump scare. That actually scared me a little. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that was actually kinda scary. Okay, let's get out of here. I'm ready to explore. Is there more? I don't see any. So how did these guys... I think they got shot. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 
It must have been the guy that took Sean. Sean. S H A U N. I'm still, I'm still not over that. I really want to have a, a pit boy. I feel like this Halloween there's gonna be a lot of vault dwellers. What do you guys think? Can we let's do a Halloween prediction? I'm predicting some vault dwellers, some invincibles, lots of Paul Atreides. Um What else? It might be a little bit too early in the year to guess, but those are my those are my three predictions right now. Paul Atreides. Vault Dwellers, Invincible. Okay, so we have our pit boy. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, the wedding ring is has pretty good value for its weight. So, I'm gonna try not to carry around a bunch of useless junk. I'm only, I'm gonna do like a priority system. So, we're gonna like weight value, value per weight. Wait, I didn't know you could do this. What the heck? Since when can you do this? Whoa. Whoa, that's kind of sick. What the heck? Okay, okay. We have the pit boy ready and gun loaded. Let's get out of here. This is the best part of any Fallout game when you finally get to step out of the vault. I don't know how they did it, but it's like such a. I don't even know how to describe the feeling. It's such a memorable feeling though, right? I think Nintendo tried the same thing with their newest Legend of Zelda games. Like walking out of that cryo chamber or cave in Breath of the Wild feels the same as it does to walk out of a, of a vault. 